Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin. Welcome to another 2D hack and slash video. I think this is going to be our second to last video. Uh, there may be maybe the third to last, not sure. Likely the second to last though. L uh, in this video, we're going to be adding sound effects, which we have um, rather neglected. But uh, I kind of wanted to do all the sound effects at once. So let me open up here. I've got my grave resources and the music and sounds. And I'm going to just select these sound effects and drag and drop them into the sounds folder. And you can see that opens up all of the sounds. Um, we can play them from here. That's, for example, the music. I might lower my volume just a bit on my recording software. Yeah, good thing I did. Holy cow, it's getting loud. Okay. So you can play them from here. Let's try the miss. Well, I guess that one didn't play. Not sure why not. Yeah, couldn't get that one to play. Interesting. There's a medium hit. Here's a hit, footstep, experience, the crow dying. We're probably not going to use this one. In the original game, I had r crows randomly pop into confetti. Um, I, it was just something that we ended up doing on stream. So we're probably not going to end up using that one. And our big hit. We might need to turn the volume up a little bit actually to be able to hear these very well. And then maybe we'll just turn down the music um, volume to like 0.25 maybe. That's still pretty loud, isn't it? Maybe 0.1. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so once we've got that done, we can close all of those. Very first thing we want to do is just start the music playing. And I think I'll just do that in the HUD object here. And we'll just call a function audio play sound. And we give it a sound ID, so a underscore music, a priority. We'll want this to have a fairly high priority. I usually do my priorities between, um, this game doesn't have a lot of sound effects. So because of that, I'm gonna do um, a priority of one to five, where five is the highest priority and, low, and one is the lowest priority. Um, you get to choose your priority numbers, basically, you could do 0 to 1, you could do 0 to 10, you could do 0 to 100, 0 to 1,000. It doesn't really matter, um, but I, I would generally recommend, recommend a smaller range if you have less sounds and a slightly larger range if you have more sounds. But even with a game with hundreds of sounds, I'd still probably, I don't know, maybe you would want to do 100 priorities of 0 to 100. But... I don't know, I'd probably still end up doing something like, um, I guess it doesn't matter how many sounds total, it's how many sounds are playing at the same time that's important. So most of the time, the highest I would go is probably 0 to 10 or 0 to 20. And for this game, we're going to do 0 to 5. So music's going to be a high priority. We'll give it a, we'll give it a 5 because, well, let's give it a 4. Music's pretty important. And then whether or not it loops, we'll set this to true because we want our mu music to loop. And then that's pretty easy. We immediately have music in the game. It might start off just a little too quiet. <laughs> We still have our boss left over.
Yeah, this music's just a little too quiet. Let's set it back to 0.25. And you can you can adjust it as you feel is going to work best for your game. Um, I'm just going to set it to 0.25 for now. Call it good. Now let's do the steps. So come into the player's movement. And right here we can basically use our animation hit frame to play a footstep when we're moving a certain direction. So inside of here we can just say if, well we probably only want to do this if we're actually moving though. So right here this stops us. We can do an else here because um, this would be, yeah, we're for sure moving. And inside of here we can do our code. If animation hit frame, uh, frame two, or animation hit frame, uh, frame five. And we'll just set, we'll just play a sound. Audio, play, sound, a footstep. Uh, I'll do a priority of two. This is pretty low priority and false. We do not want this to loop. And then I'm going to copy this so that we can just paste it around. Let's see if our footsteps work now. Yep. Good. Our sound effect, our music's sounding a little bit better to the volume. Okay, so now we're going to play a miss sound. And uh, we're going to play the miss sound with every swipe. So it's more like a swipe sound, actually. So let's rename it. I called it miss in the original one, but we'll call it swipe. Okay, or not. Did you guys see that? Straight up just didn't work. Uh, okay. Well, I guess it's going to stay a miss sound. I guess that's a bug. That's um, the first time I've run into something like that. But interesting. Okay. Doesn't really matter that much. We'll come into our skeleton. We'll minimize our move will come into our attacks. And inside of our attacks, uh, where we create the hitbox, this is where we're going to play our miss sound. So A, miss, and we'll give this a priority of three, I guess. Seems like it's pretty important. And then I'm gonna copy this, and we're going to use it in our other attack states as well. So attack two, and attack three. And make sure you have it inside of the animation hit frame, right next to where you create the hitbox. And run the game. Let's test this. There we go. Big slow boss. Okay. Miss sound is a go. Next, we're going to do uh, for when we hit something. Hmm. Actually, let's hold off on that one just a little bit. Let's do let's do the knight in the knight's attack state. Right here, we're going to do a miss sound as well for the swipe. In the boss's attack state, the boss's attack state, we're going to do the big hit. 
Let's give this one a priority of um, five. This one's important, it'll, or else it'll feel really weird. Okay. The boss plays both the... What? That's funny. I think the boss in my original source code plays both the big hit and the medium hit at the same time. Okay. We can do that. That's fine. Probably a lower priority. I don't know. I always hate trying to pick priorities. Then we have our crow. I don't know, maybe we did want the crow pop. I don't think I'm gonna put it in actually. Uh, we have, that's playing the music. Last thing is the experience, when we collect experience. Um, right here, we're just going to play the sound effect for experience. This is way low priority, we don't care about this sound effect much. There's one more, there's one more thing, which is, playing a sound for when we hit a target. And I need to, I need to search my code here, in the source, where we actually do this. It's basically whenever a hitbox hits something, as far as I can determine, we play the medium hit. So let's come into collision with life form, and right here we'll play the medium hit. And I think this one's pretty important. I'm going to put this one as four, because we really want them to know that they hit something. And I think that's all now. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's amazing how much sound effects can help. Like it just feels so much, so much better. So if you want to know where I made these sound effects, I used bfxr.net, I think. Um, it's a simple little website you can use to make sound effects. Uh, mix them together, generate sounds. It's I generally only use it for Game Jam games because obviously these sound effects, they're okay, but they're definitely not like the highest quality sound effects. Uh, but it's really useful for Game Jams. Oh my goodness, that's so many enemies. He's stuck hitting the other way, isn't he? Get out of here. Kill that crow. Oh, that was scary. Huh, <laughs> he killed that crow. That's one of the fun things about having a hitbox system that will hit um, any life form instead of just like the player or the enemy because then you can have enemies kill each other which is fun. So there's a technique that I figured out with this game which is that you can attack and reverse with your first hit um, like that. Oh dang it. That. See? The first hit has a hitbox on the front of it or behind it. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Should we should we Oh, they killed e they killed themselves. This 
see I can hit the crows from behind if I get the timing right. Okay, now I'm just playing the game. I forgot how, uh, I forgot how much, I mean, this game's kind of addicting. It's like, even though you're not actually, uh, even though it doesn't really progress past that point, it's just fun to chop stuff, chop stuff to pieces. <laughs> so anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one.